Hello everyone! Thank you, Coda, for 13 months. Uh, like like I yeah. said before I unmuted, that's fucking wild. Uh, hey Gawain, wild. glad to have you here as always. Hi Gawain. Um, uh, if anyone was here for the fucking fiasco that was my last stream, um, everything should be fixed now? Um... It turned out that I had, like, a really, really small hard drive, and now I have a much bigger hard drive, and it should be better. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. Time is wild. Time is so wild. I think about time blindness sometimes. Hmm. Like yeah, I I don't I don't know how long things take. Um I think I've said this before, but I don't know if I've said it like on stream. Uh when I did the my audition for Haven, that was I think the first thing in like close to a decade that I successfully turned in like not only on time, but, like, with time to spare. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, maybe ever. I'm not, I'm just not discounting that, like, in elementary school I probably turned something in real fast. I don't know. Valid. I don't know shit. Imagine knowing things. Imagine knowing things. So true. I know things about the game we're about to play because I literally, right before we went live, remembered where we were. <laughs> um, and also, the fucking screen isn't tinted blue now. I, I still, I still don't know what the fuck happened there. I mean, it was <laughs> Rupert cursing me, but I just still don't understand how. I don't know what happened. I would say it might have been an issue with your capture card, except you're playing on PC. Yeah. Because I had the same issue when I streamed Sonic Heroes Eons Literally... ago, except for some... <laughs> it was tinted green instead of blue. Literally, I pulled up the picture of Rupert, and my stream turned blue, and I did not notice until, like, I was ending stream. <laughs> Yep, he's totally having a wholesome time. <laughs> Knowing it's things so is cringe. Just wait until I stream Resident Evil 8. It's gonna get so much more wholesome. Oh man. <laughs> Rupert is here and he's going to clown. Rupert is not here. We are not bringing Rupert back. <laughs> I don't want him to curse my stream again. <laughs> Okay. I'm not bringing Rupert back. <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> no, it is not clown time. It is Resident Evil 7 time. Um, the second game in the franchise with an evil residence. If you want to include remakes, I guess technically the third. Faye, Faye Magpie is calling me homophobic for not giving him clown. Uh, so the simple solution is simply DM him the clown. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Win. See, I'm, I'm worried. Okay, that is, that is not the right image. That is also not the right image. Make, the, make Rupert the background <laughs> for this. That's, that's, that's definitely a threat. That's definitely a threat. Um, <laughs> I think, I don't know where I put the Rupert picture. And I'm not sure I want to know. It would after stream. I'll hold you to um, it. I do have um, this, this meme that... Uh, 
Novi from Klausum sent me. Um, which is about, like, some test about how to tell whether rats are depressed. Um, is, like, you, you see if they swim or, like, submit to their fate. I don't fucking know. It's fucked up. <laughs> Um, no, I, I don't remember what we're doing. I remember what we're doing. Cool, okay. We're dealing with Lucas. <laughs> that guy. You sure is a guy. Okay, my heal button is page up. I believe. Okay, we've got the stuff box. We've got the save thingy. That uh, is your inventory, I believe. What? Cab is your inventory, I believe. Excellent. We're, we're good? We're good? Uh, what is that needle you've got there? Is that steroids? Yeah. Save that. Okay. Because it's also an auto heal. Yeah, I know. Um. So, I believe we are getting ready for the uh, funny birthday game. I think we had the funny birthday. Oh no, we had the the like past. We had the flashback. Yeah, funny yeah, yeah. Game. And I got really mad um, about the balloon. Okay, yeah, I remember that. I'm still mad about, about the balloon. I don't understand how that works. <laughs> I don't like it. It doesn't make sense. Uh, the answer to that question is that Resident Evil and Devil May Cry take place in the same universe, and Devil May Cry has magic, so it is some sort of sorcery. Wait, Resident Evil and Devil May Cry take place in the same universe? Yep. Huh? It's through a bunch of, like, indirect references, through, like, external media, and sometimes even internal media. Also, the fact that the Resident Evil 4 we got is not what it was meant to be. It was meant to be Devil May Cry 1. Yeah, there's a man made of leeches who sings opera in one of the Resident Evils. Which one? I need to play it. Resident Evil 0. Okay, I think I even have that one. Uh, what happened oh. with the balloon? It had spikes in it, and when it burst, it impaled us. Um, but I don't understand how that works with physics. It, I, mm, I don't <laughs> like it. It, it doesn't we, make sense. I'm upset about it. We're about to actually have a quote-unquote boss fight. All right, where to? Uh, out of the save room. Oh my I god, why is... Layout that well. Why is it still doing the thing where your voice crackles? That's not fair. I don't know. I, I've honestly chalked it up to it's just a Linux thing at this point. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can blame Linux. <laughs> Look, I don't have this issue on my Windows PC. <laughs> Hang on, say something? Something. Say something? Something. It seems to be, like, consistently worse when I have the map up. That's wild. That's crazy. Isn't it? Uh, so, we gotta head out of the save room. I know that much. And there's going to be a point where we have to fall off of something. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Walk across the bridge. What's that? And the, uh, that is an elevator. We are going to get access to that momentarily. Okay. 
uh, make sure you clean up this area because you won't be back to this area for a minute. Okay. stoking the fire okay so the balloon thing might work because a lot of the pre of pressure exerted on the inside of the balloon means that pressure is spread out across the skin instead of on one point and then pricking the balloon puts pressure on one spot maybe I don't know I want I don't want someone to try it in real life because I feel like that's a good way to get hurt but also, I want someone to try it in real life so that I can see if it works. I think we've got everything from back there at this point. Okay. Um, so, uh, the only area you really have is that other little area that you were walking towards. This one? Yeah, that way into the left. Yeah, give us items. Love wins. Oh, chem fluid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and now mm -hmm. you're going to want to jump off the side. This way? Yep. <sighs> Wait, did we already fight it? Fight what? Go over to the elevator. We did not fight it yet. Okay, we're good. Well, now you're making me nervous. Uh, we gotta go find a car battery. Fortunately for you, it will only be in this area. I hear someone walking. Yeah, that's like normal ambience. Ambiance. Okay. It just it feels weird because it sounds like it's behind me and my back's to the wall. Uh and, and I don't I don't like that. I it's don't Lucas like pacing that. because he's Lucas. <laughs> we love one gun. <laughs> uh, I think you can go up the stairs. The car battery will be up there. Uh, do you not? Left. Do you not want me to walk forward here? Oh no! You can you can walk forward there and open the box. All right. We love one gun. We love one gun. <laughs> Faye Magpie says, holds the Mythbusters at knife point balloon. <laughs> Didn't night like Mythbusters end like centuries ago? It's, centuries might be an overstatement. I mean, I'm over dramatic about everything, it's just my style. Resident Evil AU of Haven is just a uh, Haven fanfic <laughs> Man, oh, yeah, you know, I, I was literally my... just thinking, aren't some of them bombs? And then I was like, yeah. eh, I probably don't have to worry about that. Now would be a good time to use your steroids, I think. Alright. Uh, tab. Cool. No, honestly, I could buy moth being mold. Okay, and we have the car battery. Coda is Leon or I'm rioting. <laughs> oh shit. Showtime. F fucking showtime? Yep. Showtime. <sighs> okay, what are, what are we getting into here? There's going to be a, a big mold monster that likes to throw up everywhere. Okay. And I shoot it in the head, I assume. You shoot it until it dies. Cool, 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 cool. Just don't get too close, because, uh... 
it has what I call, like, the acidic effect. Okay. Where, uh, if you're too close, it'll do, like, burst damage <laughs> to you. Okay. Um, guys, I need to admit something. I didn't yeah. panic because a monster was coming. I panicked because I saw that the screen was starting to tint blue, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> no, no, this time it's, like, actually the game doing this. I know, but there was a moment there where I was like, oh, Rupert. <laughs> <sighs> we should go visit him, see how he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're saying, so what you're saying is Coda is Leon is Coda is a handsome dog ex cop. Yeah. Handsome dog ex cop. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. In all matter between. Where's the? the... Keep it clean, gentlemen. We it's have gonna come rules. out of the elevator. I. Fuck you too. There he is. Might wanna walk, might wanna... Never mind. It's how you deal with hardships in life that makes you a man, Ethan! Shoot him in the head with a shotgun. Don't forget to move. Oh! Motherfucker. Mm, damn! That's got a smart arm. Hang on, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna... Bye... Uh, I you have a run button. I'm know. impressed! Not only are you still alive, you have all your fingers and toes! Okay, this may have been a bad idea. Ah, uh, you're alright. I really don't know what to say about that. He's almost down. Yep, there he goes. I didn't think he could do stairs. Oh boy. And now you have an elevator. Oh, I you thought there was going to be a round two. Nah. The way he was talking implied a round two. I mean, there will be a round two later. Mm, yeah. It's not right now. Elevator. And I have all my fingers and toes. You do have all your fingers and toes. But yeah, the, the blue lighting legitimately startled me. <laughs> <laughs> push the button. I love to push a button. Secret switch. Press it. Who would? The door will open behind you. Oh. Okay. Jump scares you with flashlight. <laughs> I mean, it's not... It's not the fact that it's blue light. Like, in, in a vacuum, it is literally just fucking... Rupert. <laughs> What's that? That's a corpse. Is it a corpse that's gonna try and bite me? Nope. Cool. I don't trust you. It's not going to attack you. I still don't trust it. You're free to not trust it, but it's not going to attack you. Man. It's so fascinating that, like, the books are the same. Yeah. Like, I get I get why they do it. I get that it's, like, a, a reusing textures thing. Um, but in-universe, th it's interesting to think about why. Yeah. You're next. Oh, 
Okay. Why 1408? That's the code to get into the room. Oh, okay. A secret switch. Press it. Who wouldn't? Oh! Is this the birthday boy? That's the birthday boy! Okay! Man, that's one shitty birthday. Yeah, for real. The family rebinds all their books because the humidity fucks up the glue IDK. You know what? I like that. That's... Fucking, like, you, you just get, like, a, a mass pack of, like, book. Not not nuts. innards, the opposite of innards. Outards. Outards. <laughs> <laughs> um, of book outards and and you, yeah, like fucking like middle schoolers with, you know, the book protection covers. The only issue with that theory is I think the only person who would genuinely care about rebinding the books at this point, considering how far they're gone, is Zoe. No, not at this point. This is like something they did in the past. Oh yeah, probably. Uh, you forgot to press the secret switch. There's... Oh. <laughs> we love a secret switch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now we're back at birthday boy room. Okay. Am I allowed to go up the other stairs? Uh, the other stairs is where we first came through. Like, to get to this area in general. Is it? You can God, just go it has up been... those stairs, but it'll be backtracking. It has been so long. When's the yeah. last time we played Resident Evil? I want to say December, January. Uh, let me, let me check, let me check. Restart Firefox. Oh no. Uh, no, I can check. I have the data. I have so much metadata for all of my streams. Uh, Resident Evil 7... December 27th. Wild. It's been three months. Uh, I'm so bad at having a schedule. It's okay. Alright, we've got thing box. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you this in advance. Mm -hmm. Put everything away. Everything. He will not let you enter the room if you even have one singular thing on you, even if it's the most useless thing in the world. Enters with one antique coin. Should have just been a deposit all, but because of this. <laughs> no, I th I think they want to make us like really feel the weight of what we're doing. Yeah. Or like l l lack of weight. I discovered that I like none of the soda fountain options are all ones I dislike. So I've mixed all of them, and I will drink that. I've done that before. To literally nobody's surprise. Yeah, Coda, the things you eat... <laughs> I know, I'm a goblin. Okay. Do I care about what's you down here? Time. Uh, that's where we entered the area. Uh, the area that we were just in, where we fought the big blobby guy. Okay. We gotta go up to the keypad. I'm just making sure. Yep. 
We've called it, we've covered all our bases so far. Alright. Oh. Fourteen oh eight. Party time. Okay. Is there not like a save? Um, I don't actually know where the closest save is. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about it because I can literally just tell you what you need to do and okay. you'll be fine and there will be a save on the other side. Fine. All right, what am I doing? Okay, you pick up the candle. You go to where uh, the shower heads will put out the candle flame. Okay, that was here, yes? Right there, towards the cake, yep. Um, now what? Alright, what do you say we play a little uh, game? All you gotta do is light a candle backwards. and put it on the cake. Kiss my ass. Ethan, language. There are now children can... in the building. <laughs> Somewhere. I think. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> well, that's an interesting line. That is an interesting line. Um... So whatever you do under any circumstances, do not pull the the turn thingy out of the keg. Okay. That will kill you. Okay. Uh, but we have all the solutions already from the tape, so we go over to the stove, we turn on the gas. Because we are going to lose the candle probably a couple times. Okay. Oof. Uh, now we relight it. We go to the rope. Rope. This? Uh, the rope on the door that's keeping it locked. Oh. Hi, Solar. Hello, Solar Sun 46. That is a friend from my other d, &D. Ooh. Alright. And now we go... Wait, I actually think this room's completely optional. I'm trying to remember. Uh, there, There's a door on the opposite end. No, wait, no, yeah, this door is mandatory. The code is loser. I love that it's equal spacing. Yeah. And this will give us the valve, I believe. Alright. It's the thing that releases steam. I think about that post all the time. <laughs> oh. Do you want to tell how the game has you figure that out? Yeah, we did the- this stream was done a few months ago, but we did the VHS tape. Yeah. Um, I'm bad at having a schedule, so, uh, do I need to take the balloon? You don't need to take the balloon. Cool. Unless you really hate I Ethan hate that the much. balloon. <laughs> the balloon makes uh, me so upset. Um but yeah, I'm I'm bad at having a schedule, so we've been playing this on and off for like m months. Yeah. Yeah, you can pop the balloons. If you I don't want to pop the pop balloons. Them 
Uh, now we literally have everything we need. We don't need to do anything else. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, go back to the shower area. Go into that room. Turn off the water. Is that here? Yep. <gasps> now go relight the candle. The cadence of your voice there has me worried. We're all right, don't worry. Now go put it in the cake. Do I have to run? No. Okay. Well, not yet. I just wanted to know if I should be ready to run as soon as I put the thing on the cake. Now you You're supposed run. to die! Um, uh, where? You gotta go to the wood on the wall on the opposite end of the room. And you gotta pull that wooden board out. And now you pick up the TNT and throw it through the hole. And now run to the other end of the room. And now you're good. That was supposed to be for you, goddammit! You're done. You can go through there, and you're done. So the fire's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> and then you go there. <laughs> Lucas was sitting right there. Of course he was. I don't like that this is called the D-Series head. Finally. Uh, do you want to save right now, or do you want to get your stuff first? And I want save? to save and get my stuff and then save. Okay, that's a good plan. All right. That ain't no head. That, look, that looking like a stone fetus. <laughs> no, it's a mummified fetus. All right. Stuff time, stuff time. Item box is right there. Yes. I'm just making sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You might also want to pull out the crank for good measure. Oh boy. I had pizza for dinner yesterday and now I'm getting more pizza. I think the main antagonist of the Super Meat Boy series would disagree with that. Alright, what all am I taking? Uh, you're gonna want all of your bullets. so you can make your third uh, first aid. Uh, do we have any solid fuel? Um, 
let's find out. We have five solid yeah, fuel. Am I you're taking gonna it? Want one of those in your yeah, you're gonna want one of those in your strong chem fluid. Uh, okay. I think. Uh, do you have the D series? Uh, you're gonna want the arm too. Eight. All right. You're good. Time to get now before you save. Crafting. Uh, make yeah, make the first aid kit and make the uh fire rounds. Okay. First aid. Flame rounds. Good. Yep, you're good. Right. Oh. Everything's all in different places. This is annoying to me specifically. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is there anything like to the left here? Uh, no. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Ladies. Mia. 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 She's alive. Who, who are you? Where are you? We're just beyond the pier, outside that room. Hurry. Well now, Ethan. The fuck do you want? You? Dead? <laughs> Guess that's not in the cards. Not yet. Lucky me. Look. Unless you have any more surprises up your sleeve, I suggest oh. you. <laughs> now that would be telling, Ethan. And I don't do spoilers. Dick. <laughs> yeah, he is a dick. He is a dick. Uh, and now we can go out the door. I'm gonna save again for good measure. Valid. By the way, for Ethan Winters, this is a restful interlude. Is it? No, not really. Uh, Faye says, God, it is so weird to hear Ethan's English VA because I play this game in French. Also, he sounds like Coda. <laughs> God, I wish I was his voice actor. Oh, hey. This is not where we were before. This is a different part of the bayou. Well, it looks similar. Okay, crank Looks time. can be deceiving. Crank time. I'm pretty sure we will need it for at least one more. Alright. Compared to the rest of his bots in these games, um... Yeah, I'm still gonna say no, not really. favorite part of the house is how nothing bad is going to happen. Yeah, nothing bad nothing ever bad happens. Is gonna happen. Don't worry about it. I'm saying this isn't really a restful interlude because we're about to see more mold monsters and also we have an actual boss fight coming up. Oh god. I'm not good at boss fights. This boss fight's gonna be relatively easy because all of his weak points are very visible. Um. There was another way that you could go up. Uh huh. Oh, you meant the hell balloon puzzle. Yeah! That was probably the closest bit to 
rest Ethan's gotten this entire trip. I am also bopping Moth with a pool noodle because Moth is good at video games. Also, the boxes will no longer be explosives. Cool. It would have been really For funny now. if that one exploded at me. They're not going to be explosive for now. We won't see explosive boxes again until we get to the mine. Okay, but it, it would have been really funny if that one exploded after you said that. Oh, it would have been hilarious. I would be on the floor laughing. Ooh, there we go. I've never been good at a video game in my life, actually. And now we don't need the crank anymore for the rest of the game. Yeah, love wins. Right. Oh. Love wins. Immediately gets jump scared by a monster. Motherfucker. Probably should use the shotgun. Fucking it's There you go. Literally I grabbed the f first gun. You're fine. Everyone is so mean to me all the time. I'm not good at video games. I've never been good at a video game in my entire life. Oh, I don't like that music. There's more swamp things. Hmm. <sighs> See, there's the big guy over there. Uh, you should probably let them get closer before you start going in with a shotgun. There you go. Probably want to reload. Oh, right. Shit. Where'd it fucking go? Oh, never mind. Yeah, where did it go? What? Like, I. Th th that. It just disappeared, right? You guys saw that? Small victories. Small victories. <laughs> I know there's gonna be a couple more four legged ones. Alright. I keep feeling like one's gonna come up behind me. I heard the noise. Where is it? Okay, there's some coming from the left. I don't see anyone from the right. I know there's gonna be a four-legged one hopping out onto the bridge when you go to the right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take care of these guys first, I think. Fair enough. There you go. Oh. Never mind. Not kicking. It was just fidgeting. They still. fucking disappear. All right, I'm going to the right. You said. Yeah, you're going to the right. All right. I thought I saw a fifth one. Honestly, you can ignore it. It's not going to yeah, chase that's... you into the. I. I worry. <laughs> I should use this music in Haven streams for stressful moments. Um, I I worry a lot. I worry a lot about getting DMCA'd. Um, mm. I think a lot more than most people do, um, because I have something wrong with me. Um, so I try, I, I try, I, I have, like, a bunch of royalty-free music that I could be using, um, and I just have not been. Uh, which, which is, which is on me. Um, music stuff is not a thing that I have proficiency in yet. Okay, when I go to the right, is it going to come up behind me? No, it's going to just appear from the water onto the bridge. Alright. If you're fast enough, you can honestly just blitz past it. Uh, what's the... You're running right now. Run. 
Oh, you killed it in one shot. You're good. Love wins. All right. There is one more behind you, but you can ignore it. Oh, I forgot about you. Okay, now you're good, for real. Don't fuck with me again. <laughs> there we go in here. And it's a save room. Good, we love a save room. So how much of this game have we played? I want to say we're about halfway through it. That's insane. There's so much of this game. The best part is, is we're not even at the worst part. Okay, I okay, can... we don't need the crank anymore. Ditch you don't those. need the stimulus. Ditch that. Uh, there is stuff in here. I'm gonna ditch that for now. Yeah. Uh, you want to keep the arm in the head. Those are important. Yes. Notice how I did not put them away? I, I'm just making sure, because I was telling you there was still stuff in here. Alright. Uh, there's also a remover right above the save. What the fuck is a remover? It splits things down. Oh, there's all three of them right there. Nice. Uh, what I would do is I would keep the strong chem. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I can get it back. And I would pull out a gunpowder. I'd make strong bullets. Hey. Crafting time. This is what we're here for. Uh, strong bullets, you said? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna save again. Because I have issues. You're fine. I do the same thing whenever I play Pokemon. <laughs> also, I missed- I missed Fey Magpie saying I'm good at Minecraft. I'm not good at Minecraft. I did a lot of research, <laughs> but I wouldn't say I'm good at it. Um, it's honestly really funny um, because I had barely played any Minecraft at all before I auditioned for Haven. Hmm. I'd done like some errand running on the house server and like a couple Klausen streams by that point I think Moth Hardcore when if you guys want hardcore like <laughs> we can negotiate I am willing <laughs> but, but like not I'm not going to do it for free, and I'm not talking monetary compensation necessarily, although I will take monetary compensation if that's what y'all want to play with. Um, but we can negotiate. You can definitely, like, earn Moth Hardcore. Suggestion. Suggestion. Make it your 100 follower goal. Ooh. Actually, you I have no idea how many followers I have. You have 91. I have what? You have 91 followers. I have followers. 91 followers? Hang on, I'm gonna refresh just to make sure. What? That's insane. Yeah, 91 I have followers. 91 followers? What the fuck? I know. That doesn't feel real. Blink. One moment you blink and you're just passing 150. And the next, you're suddenly like almost a quarter of the way to 200. What the fuck? Growth is fun. Moth is cool. 
I'm so cool. I do, like, no reach stuff. I'm very bad at, like, brand management or whatever. I like to do behind-the-scenes stuff. I'm not good at, like, front-end. Uh... And this 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 here is a one man operation, so it's just me. <laughs> Moth next Filza. <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm gonna leave. <laughs> no wait, we got a boss to fight. <laughs> No, everyone was nice to me, and 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 it, and it, and it nerfed me, and... and mm. <laughs> you deserve good things. I do deserve good things. I deserve so many good things. Um, man. 100 follower goal, huh? 100 follower goal? Uh, we'll have to talk later, because I don't know how to set that up set up like a follower goal or just set up hardcore follower goal i'm pretty sure i know how to set up I'm, hardcore i'm gonna say i don't know how to set it up either i just put it on a banner on my stream and i'm like hey oh, we okay. hit this follower goal i'll do this yeah okay if we hit if we hit um i will say i am like really busy right now um So if if we hit a hundred followers like this month, that's gonna be not great for me. Um, but I'll I'll do it. I'll do it. It's the ladies. Yeah. Zoe. Zoe, I... Not now. We don't have the time. Do you have both ingredients? Right here. There should be enough, right? If we make them fast enough, my father and Lucas aren't far away. He's coming. Daddy's coming. Good. There's enough for two. Free me, uh. So after we make the serum, what's next? Now I think you should turn around and be able to pick up the serum. Hey, one of those is mine. Jack is back. Oh, okay. 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 So yeah, his weak point is very visible. Didn't we murder him twice? Yeah. Why is he back? Uh, because his specific, like, <sighs> mutation from the mold was immortality. That sucks. Imagine being immortal, but, like, a twisted mockery of what you were. Like, does yeah. that does that even count? Is that even you anymore? I don't know. But the worst part is, after we beat him here, he's still alive. <laughs> we just don't have to deal with him anymore as Ethan. Oh, as Ethan. Nope. Yeah, once we're done with him here, that's it for the main game. Okay, what were you saying his weak points are? They're very visible. They're, like, it's all the eyeballs. It's the vision. Oh, okay. Oh, you were making a joke. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Zoe, get somewhere. Back to the house. I will deal with you later. 
I have no clue what weapon I have up. Ah! Okay. I am shooting him in the eyeballs, yes? You're shooting him in all the eyeballs, and once you want to pause, immediately start running because he's about to attack. Yeah, I, I got that. I. Which direction do I run? Left. Okay, I thought so. This is getting old, Jack. Ugh. Out he goes. Now he has eyeballs literally all over. This is the tricky part of the fight. You gotta shoot him. Oh, fuck. You're fine. Uh, A really useful weapon here is the grenade launcher. Oh my god, right. How close do I have to also, You don't have to be that close. Uh, you can also go down and not block. I don't really want to be down there. <laughs> uh, down there is one of your biggest advantage points to hit a bunch of them at once. Okay, okay, okay. You obviously don't need to be down there, like, while he's down there. If he comes up, you can... Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. Um, Fae Magpie says immediate Haven thoughts. What are your Haven thoughts? I always want to hear Haven I think, thoughts. I think that was in regards to the, like, imagine being immortal but stuck as an immortal. Oh, yeah! Yourself. Yeah, that's that's the shit C August is talking about. Okay. And like now that this place is burning down, you've entered phase. Oh, okay. Nothing changes, it's just the building's on fire now. Shit, we're... ah, fuck. Where are the eyes? <laughs> fuck you! You gotta be somewhere. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought I saw one. There's a ladder you can use to find that. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Other way, other side. Motherfucker. Is that the fucking other guy? Lucas? No. Lucas isn't a part of this piece. This is all dead. Oh, yeah, I... Okay, am I... I'm going down again, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, there's one right there. Yep, I see. Motherfucker. Do you have any more grenades? 
Gotcha. I see. I see you. I see you. Ugh. Die. Uh, where's the fucking ladder? I am not going to hold still. That is not a thing that I want to do. Okay, I see, I see. How many eyes does this motherfucker have? Uh, this is like Capcom's big eyeballs or everything else. Too many. Too many. Okay. I don't know how to, like, exactly describe how many he has, but there's one. Enough. It looks like. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, he looks like he's not doing so hot. He is. Trying to think, where's the other eye? Found it. Oh, there it is. Uh, Do you have any grenades left? I might. <laughs> Well, that looked pretty final. That looked pretty final. You did it. Listen, listen, phasing him counts. Phasing him counts. Phasing him counts. You're right. Because, because I, it's not necessarily final as in the end of the fight. It's final as in decisive. Ethan, this way. Hello? Use the serum on him. You're gonna have to, you want me to otherwise you die. Oh shit. And now he's calcified. Yeah. Are we just leaving him like that? Yep. Um, okay. I deserve good things and prizes. Spoils war. Fifteen bullets. And 50 burner. We're not even using the burner. Um, can I get we over? We can't get that one anymore. Oh, everyone is so mean to me all the time. 
Yeah, don't worry about them. It's it's fine. It's no longer Ethan's issue. Yeah, but like immortality like that. I don't know. I'm gonna worry about him. I had to use one of them. There's only one left. All right, it's time There's to decide which ending you're getting. There can't just be one left. What the hell are we gonna do now? So this is a lot more decisive than I'm making it sound. Like, um, if you use it on Zoe, you get the bad ending. Okay. Like, Mia's fucking dead. If you use it on Mia, you get the canon ending. And Zoe's dead? Zoe will not be dead. Okay. <gasps> it's fine. It was yeah, literally. You, what the hell are we going to do now? Zoe, you go. did tell him to use Both it. Both of you just go! Come with us. I'm, I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is not home. Apparently I belong here. That's not... I'll send help. Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help! Zoe's just being a little overdramatic. But that leads into, uh... That leads into the DLCs. Do I care about the DLCs? Um... I mean, one of them costs money. And all they really do is give Zoe closure. Oh, well, I, I like Christ Zoe. I like Zoe. We are now in the worst part of the game. You said we're halfway fucking through? Yeah, we are now in the third quarter of the game. Ethan? Thank you. Who the hell else was I gonna choose? Ethan. Mia, I know you've been through a lot. We need to talk. You had something to do with all this, didn't you? Look, I just want to know the truth. Oh, yeah, uh, Ethan, so the I DLC it gives closure remember. to Zoe. You play as uh, Jack's brother, and you punch the shit out of everything. Hmm. Uh, in the Who other DLC, boy? you play as Chris, and you here. get closure on closure on Lucas. Well, maybe I will play the DLCs. I will okay. note that I have not played the DLCs the when I've that? seen playthroughs, so I do not know them as well as the base game. Okay. Okay, well, I don't like what that. The fuck? What is that? What is that? Chris, your wife. Chris Boulder Punching mm. Redfield. And now we are playing as Mia. So what actually happens if you... You better start running. Achievement unlocked, you better start running. That's just the name of the achievement, don't worry. Okay, I was like, oh shit, do I gotta start running? Um, so what actually happens if you cure Zoe? Mia stays behind, Zoe calcifies, and you still end up playing as Mia. And Mia dies? Mia, yeah, Mia just fucking dies. Alright. Mia's still not gonna get a great ending, but she's gonna at least be alive if you choose Mia. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, welcome to the worst third of the game. We have nothing. Huh. Alright, yeah, this is... Hmm. I hate this for us. Am I going the right way? Yes. 
So he gets killed even after you cure her. That sucks. Yeah. That's an accurate description of what just happened. Mr. Ethan Bradbury. And now, we get a stealth section. Ooh. All right. You're still going the right way. I'm just, I'm just check, checking yeah, where I am. Such crimes. Um, no, I was gonna say, uh, one of one of my things with horror is that it's easier when it's scary. Uh, it is somewhat harder when it is on, on the more sad end of the emotional spectrum, which is why I have. Um, a lower tolerance for zombie horror than for most horror because zombie movies if you've ever seen Night of the Living Dead like original Night of the Living Dead you know what I'm talking about it's now a bad time to say I haven't you should watch it it's a classic yeah, I get that a lot. You say that, like, we could play a drinking game with how many times you tell me that. Okay, well, some things are classics for a reason, and I have impeccable taste. <laughs> so when I say something is a classic for a reason, I fucking mean it. Well, I don't necessarily mean it in regards to you saying it. it's a classic. I mean in regards to me saying it, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Because I don't watch movies unless I'm sat down to watch them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, um, no, it's... It's really good. Uh, zombie movies are very... They have to do with humanity in a mm -hmm. way that, like... This is the difference I, I found between zombie media and vampire media. Like, not every instance but in like broad strokes is that vampire media is very personal and zombie media is very like communal yeah um and so you've got this like m more heart-wrenchingly tragic aspect because wow it is hard to make words today um with vampire media, it's targeted, and with zombie media, it's just there. Um, so I think zombie media is closer to, like, natural disaster horror than to, like, vampire horror. Mm. Um, yeah, so that's, that's where I'm at. Um, I have in my backpack um, this absolute doorstopper of a book that I've been chipping away at since, like, June. Um, because it is a zombie book, and I get overwhelmed easily by zombie stories. Because they're sad! But it's not that they're <laughs> scary, it's that they're sad! Understandable. Yeah. I was, like, deathly scared of zombies uh until like high school though hmm. i was scared I'm fascinated of by... sorry go on i'm fascinated by zombies so much that i actually made a uh i started writing a story about a uh literal antagonist of sakotas Ooh. and doing zombie related things yeah uh, I was gonna say, I was also scared of vampires, but not as long, because then the whole Twilight fad happened, and I was like, oh, 
vampires are like lame and not scary. I should not be scared of them because that they are not worth yeah. my fear. Vampires have always been in this weird limbo for me, because if you're talking Twilight vampires, they're pushovers. They suck. But if you're talking actual vampires, they're not as strong as they really let on, because what they have a big that? fatal flaw, and that's sunlight. Yeah. I mean, not all of them do. Yeah. It's common in the mythos, but it's not universal. Yeah. Um... I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, also people are horny for vampires more often, like, even without the Twilight thing. Yeah, that's what, that's the other reason that vampires like, are in this weird limbo. For weren't them, people horny for hot. Bella Lugosi? Who? Um, the guy who played Dracula oh. in the, like, universal horror version of it. Uh, I wouldn't put it past them. Anyway, it was, uh, welcome to Mia's trauma. <laughs> Faye says I would fuck Bella Lugosi. <laughs> Faye, you're so valid. <laughs> God, um, hang on, let me see if I can find my fucking... Joke involving Bella Lugosi. Uh, early horror movies are like losing your virginity. You're messing around with weird but ultimately very human things. You're not really sure what you're doing yet. Bella Lugosi is there. Um, he, he is in, a, like, a lot of early horror movies. Like, I watched, um, uh, The Wolfman. He has a small role in The Wolfman, um, if I'm remembering right. Uh, The Gorilla, not really a horror movie, but one of my favorite early movies. Um, he's got a fantastic role in that. Hmm. I've, I've watched a lot of horror movies, and I have a lot of opinions. That's and horrible. Or... Yeah. I don't like that. Like I said, welcome to Mia's trauma. Uh... I don't know, what else can I talk about? I can talk about why this section sucks. Sure, go for it. So, we have no weapons, and we're going to encounter enemies before we get weapons. And they the gave me fucking we... hope! <laughs> That's just rude! The, the only weapon we're going to get for a good hot minute is a pistol with three bullets. They're all dead. What is it? The Andrew movie. What the fuck are you talking about? She killed them all. Fuck. What the hell is going on? We need some weapons. Is there any weapons on this ship? I, I, I don't know. But... Look, let's go this way. Maybe we can get out of here. Trauma time. I mean, this section's Trauma also great because time. it gives you insight into Mia's thoughts. Yeah. But, like... I hate All it. Right. It's bad, and you should cool. have given me more ammo. I'm decent at headshots. Decent at headshots until the only enemies you see for a good hot minute are the four-legged ones. Everyone is so mean to me all the time. They're so fast. They are. Mm-mm. It does pick up towards the end of this section, but it just starts out awful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also get lost all the time in this uh, section. I have so much horror trivia, and it's just like, 
bonking around in my brain until it hits a corner like a screensaver. Which is valid. Uh, like, um, o OG Night of the Living Dead, um, the creatures were never actually called zombies, they were called ghouls. Hmm. What's this? A okay. thing we cannot go through. Well, it's shiny. I know. Toto, have you seen any of my Undertale streams where I have to be restrained for giving trivia so that I don't die to bullets? It's really uh, funny. It's extremely funny. Usually when you're streaming Undertale, I'm doing something important. No, there's too many So rooms. I have not, but I will catch the VODs if I possibly can. Right. Um, no, it's really funny, cause, cause, um, Faye is, like, good at it, but the moment, she's not my child. Oh! <laughs> Um, the moment he starts info dumping, he he dies to the bullets, um, and it's very funny. <laughs> that sounds like me when I'm playing The Binding of Isaac. She's inside me. She's inside everyone. And they're really giving us nothing. Yeah. I'd say this would be a moment respite for uh, Mia, except this is literally where things went to shit for her. I think it's pronounced respite. I think I've heard it pronounced both ways. Chad, is it respite or respite? Evelyn. <laughs> um, is that a ladder? That is a ladder. Cool. Evelyn, I like Evelyn a lot. Evelyn is a big source of inspiration for one of the antagonists in my many Sakota stories that I will eventually make public. I would love to see your Sakota stories. I have to finish writing them first, because <laughs> I'll start one, and then I'll, like, stop, take a break, and then I'll start another one. Man, I was asked to, to beta something recently, which means that I have rediscovered how much I fucking love doing that and also how, like, exhausting it is. I was like, yeah, I can, I can knock this out tonight. And then I got, like, halfway through and I was like, I need to lie down. Hmm. You said we could be a family. What are you talking about? You said! Bye, what Evelyn. Please. Tired of waiting. She. People who say that Evelyn deserved better are wrong. She is amazing and I hate her and she needs to commit more crimes. We do not have a knife, nor a gun. And we are not awesome like Leon Scott Kennedy and we can't just kick the box open. I'm sulking. Don't worry, we're in the area where we're gonna get a gun. 
Wait, that means we're gonna encounter enemies soon. Yep. Well, we've got a healing item. Alright. Is this where we're- where, where are we going? Uh, you were going in the right direction. Okay. Is there anything no, in this what? direction? You're gonna be going to that direction soon. Okay. Cool. I just- I gotta explore everything. No. See, the- the problem with that, Faye, is that Chris is too busy getting Leon to try and screw Claire. Um, am I- oh. So, right, yeah, stealth that section. Guy, that guy is the biggest pain in the ass because he is blocking the door with the gun. Alright. But of course, that's also a save room. So once you get in that room, you're safe. Okay, so I'm going that way. You're going that way. How close can I get before he notices me? And which side is the door on? The door is on the right side, and you can... I'd say probably about halfway up this hall before he starts to notice All you. All right. So honestly, what I would do is i just blitz it. There we go. Love wins. Okay. Oh, wait, it's not even three bullets. It's two. It's two fucking. Mm. They hate me. They hate everyone. They hate to see a girl boss winning. Okay. And then our next destination <laughs> is directly across the hall from here, where we will okay. stumble into our knife. Do I shoot the guy or do I run? You run. Alright, directly across from here, you said? There will be a couple turns, but otherwise, yes. And the turns will be obvious that you need to make, because it's <sighs> otherwise a straight hall. Okay. I can do this. I'm cool and sexy and good at video games. Yes. I think if you also double back to where that box was and you shoot it, you should get some extra bullets. I think. The boxes are randomized. Okay, so... Either I get a return on my bullet investment, or I waste one bullet of my two bullets. Yep. You know what? I just saved. That is true. You can go and check. If it, if it, Except if it, I think it will be randomized each time. No, I mean that, like, if I go there and I shoot it and it's not bullets, then I can just reload and not do that. That's true. Um, but then there's I'm the possibility it. that it could be bullets. I'm not Skinner reload. boxing this. <laughs> you can't make me. I'm considering, I'm considering. Yeah, the Mia section sucks. I do I do really like horror games where you, you don't have a weapon, you don't have a way to fight back. Mm -hmm. Um I think it's very The word that's coming to mind is pure. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's un undistilled. Th there's nothing you can do but, like, run and hide. Um, it, it... You don't have any control over the situation. Um, and and I, I think that having a weapon dilutes the horror some. Not necessarily in a bad way, but in a way that, like, exists. Mm. I, I have a lot of opinions. You're valid for them. Uh, which is to say, I think I like stealth sections better than you do. <laughs> oh, I hate stealth sections. I'm not afraid to admit that I'm an impatient fuck. <laughs> All right.
Bye. Is this okay, door? This door? Yep. Gun where? Uh, uh, the knife will be in. Er, knife. The... It's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was that all in my head? I woke up at 1930. There was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below, maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 1950 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me, huge shark-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni Finetti. Alright. Uh, so there's another door in this room, that one to be exact. That'll take you to the bunk room. And there's the a knife. knife is somewhere in here. And also a backpack. Or no, not a backpack. I think the knife is in the vest. Uh, never mind. I was wrong. I, The knife is in this area. That I know for certain. There's also a bullet. I love a bullet. I love to bite a bullet. Knife's not randomized, is it? Or am I... <sighs> Dear Janet, Hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day, just the same old sea. Although there is one thing that's different. Ugh. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Alright. Uh, um, I might be misremembering. It might be a different bunker. Why is this vest examinable and the other one isn't? I don't know. Like I, I just I feel like you. it implies that there is something about it feels like the worst possible way to have done the transport of said little girl, TBH. It's almost like this little girl isn't a little girl. She should be my friend. She's a biological weapon. So? Fair enough. I think I'm misremembering. It's definitely... Hang on, I'm gonna quickly look up where the knife is. Okay. <laughs> uh, no way, it's in the wreck ship. I never would have guessed. <laughs> Can we get more specific? Thanks, IGN. <laughs> very, very helpful. <laughs> <sighs> This I be a little more. am withholding my judgment on does is Evelyn evil, um, for now, uh, but I don't think so. Oh, oh did, did we go that, past it? No, we did not. So we need to find something called a corrosive. Corrosive. It will open a door to the rec room, which will give us the knife. Uh, was that the door we passed that was covered in black goo? Uh, probably. So there are some doors in this area that 
have like a special lock on them okay. that you can't open without corrosives. <sighs> okay. What's through here? Nothing. So, like, if the door has a visible knob on it, you can go through it, but if there's, like, black and yellow tape, it's locked. Alright, that's where we came from. There are these side rooms that we can go in that might be Oh, shit. A man! A man! There you go. A good use of those two bullets. I fuck at headshots. Oh, is this... Were we in uh, here we already? We do need that fuse. No, we were not. We have not been in here yet. Okay. It, it, there, it, it... it looked like the fucking False Hope green desk thing from earlier. Uh... Fluid. We can now make a first aid. We or we can save it for bullets. Yeah, we'll see. I've never been good at video games in my life. That double door will just take you into the area we were just yeah, in. Yeah, this yeah. is a corrosive. And then that's a That's corrosive a corrosive one. one, okay. I think that's the rec room in particular, so we... Yeah. Alright. That's where we came in, yes? That's where we came in. And that double door is the one with the box in it. This double door? Yeah. Oh, I don't love the idea of using a bullet on this. You got seven of them, and you fuck at headshots. I do fuck at headshots. Plus, there might be gunpowder in there, and you can make more bullets. Yeah! <laughs> love wins! Okay. I love when I call it. Bullets! Alright. Uh, okay. So there's a place we should be able to drop off the fuse to progress. I think it's right there. Yeah. Um. Don't worry about him, he's gonna leave you alone. I kind of wanted to go back to the save room. Um, uh, uh, I think we'll be alright. Okay. Fuse time, fuse time. A map. I love that a map. can't pick up, but it's stuck on the wall. I hear some manner of critter. I don't think there's one in the stairwell. Okay. Uh, second floor? Uh, I'm gonna be completely black and white and transparent here at the same time. You don't remember? Yes, I know their opposite phrase. I get lost in this area so frequently. <laughs> I do not remember. Okay. I mean, it looks like there's a second floor and, and probably a third floor. There's four floors total, I believe. Okay. I mean, logic dictates we should go in order? Yeah. Okay. Locked from the other side. Okay. Cool. Um, I also know that, like, you are going to make frequent trips to all of them, so... That's fine. God, I can't believe we're halfway through this game. Yeah. That one's open. Alright. There is so this much ship, game. This ship also somehow still has power. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, this is where we need to be. Okay. Um. Hi, Evelyn. Watch it. What? 
Why? You need to remember, so we can be a family. There's a VHS on the tape. Okay. Um. By the TV. Cool. Okay. Now, this VHS is so long that it's actually going to have its own save stations. Oh my god, okay. But it also shows you mostly what you need to do Ow. throughout this section. Test subject, E-001, the first Eggman robot. <laughs> Alan, you're getting worse. She must have... Infected me during the attack. I'm too far gone anyway. Okay, diegetically, does Mia just have like a fucking GoPro it on? Me right. It's my fault. She Everyone fell. conveniently yeah, has a GoPro on that, that somehow records VHS. Fucking insane. She didn't attack you. It's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here. I'm printing protocol. It. it has your tissue samples. Oh, is that the bottle we Find woke her. up with? Yes. You fix this. Cool. Okay, Evie. Where are you? Evie. <sighs> okay. Machine, Machine gun ammo. Special Operations Division, Director Alan Droney and Caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that Evelyn remains at her current location. She is at a high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as parental guardians for Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion. Manage Evelyn's vitals via the genome codex provided. If the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. Um. Listen, I know she's a biohazard, but also. Item box. Item box. I love an item we box. Have a gun and a knife. I love to have a gun and a knife. Fucking machine gun and a knife. Okay. Yeah. Is there a save in this room or no? I don't think it's in this room. Okay. Onward. But it's around. Okay. Uh, first case, uh, the beginning of this VHS is a checkpoint. So if we die during the VHS, we'll just respawn okay. at the beginning of the thing. No, I'm just, I'm just, um, keeping an eye on the time because we've been going for like an hour forty-five. Gotcha. I'm just sitting here petting Albert. Where's... Oh, okay. Where's Who is Albert? Uh, so... You unfortunately missed, uh, the first Holiday Star stream. Uh, there is... Oh my uh, god, I need to watch the butler. VOD! And I immediately imprinted upon him because he is a crow. She's close. I think that room might have a save point. I don't remember. I know there is one within the VHS. I just don't remember where it is. Uh, do you have a map for this area? I guess there's not one nearby. I'm canvassing the room. Okay. Herb. Herb. That sweet, sweet, dank kush. 
There's a oh, that looked like <laughs> a fucking tape deck. It did. It did. I'm surprised that opened, okay. Um, yeah. Is that just on the other side of where we were? Yes. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna circle back around. I'm so circular. Circular. Alright, better check the rest of this floor. Really Alright, that's where we came system. from. Okay. Um so we've Not got this vent up here and we've got the crawl space from the center room. Yeah. Which one should I do first? Uh I think they both go to the same place actually. Oh, okay. Whatever, this one's closer. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. So you're on the outside of the kitchen, which is where the crawl space takes you okay. to. Okay. So it's relatively the same area, but uh, you can't just immediately access one. Uh, yeah. Okay. And the crawl space? It's in this area. I think it's either through those doors or it's probably on the through up. one or the other. Oh there it is right there. There it is, okay. I think the door's actually locked. That's fine. Um we came in through this, okay. Uh, uh yeah. Okay. What now? Uh, crawl space. I... She's vomiting. Damn, I'll have to reset. How's it going? She's vomiting. Far more in excess of her body mass. Find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. Bong. I don't love that thunking. That's just Evelyn messing with you. Right. Also, you're on an active boat. Does that, have we checked the floor? Do we go in the elevator now? Yes. Okay. Well, that was the whole floor and no save point. Oh, come on. I am understanding why this thing has so many bullets. You have the right idea on the strategy on how to use the machine gun, though. You, uh, pepper spray, you don't spray and pray. Huh? Uh, you tap the shot instead of hold the shoot for the machine gun. Yeah, obviously. There she go. There she go. distance oh. 
Oh, that was not enough distance. They explode so violently. They do explode so violently. It's fine, they're just allergic to gunpowder. <laughs> the, the symptoms of their allergies is just spontaneous combustion. That doesn't seem like how anything works, but okay. Uh, S2. S2. I'm pretty sure there's a save in here. If not, I think there will be one close by when we're done. Alright. Worst case scenario, we just go back where we came and we kill the thing and we save there. Yeah. Wait, no, that was that was outside the VHS. Yeah, it was outside the VHS. Uh, the VHS, I'm trying to... I, it's long, but I don't think it's, like, too terribly lengthy. Alright. It's the longest tape, I know that much. Alright. Oh! Novin said that your category is set to Minecraft. Oh, uh, I forgot to fix it before I started stream. Uh. It has been so long since I streamed that I've forgotten how everything works. Um, I mean, at this point, we're like... Getting towards the end of today. Um, so... Yeah. So valid. I'm so professional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This shit loves to squelch. It really do love to squelch. Okay, you are faster than I want you to be. He's also got the big arm. Yeah. Come Where did around he go? the corner. Oh, there he is. Alright. Come on. He popped like a balloon. I fuck it headshots. True. And real. True and real. It's like, hey, he was just squirming. Creatures love to squirm. You sure do. They love to squirm, they love to squelch. Remote bomb. doesn't seem, uh, very optimistic. Ooh! There's a guy. He's a guy. He's a guy. Or is a guy. guy is dead. Sometimes you're just dead. Sometimes you're just dead. Behind corrosive door. 
what? Uh, Evelyn is behind corrosive door, but we're going the right way. Yeah. I deserve prizes and treasure. The bottles. And also a box. I love a box. We love a box. All right. Now you only have so many of those, so use them sparingly. One is mandatory to use on the store. Yeah. That's fucked up. Now you can open it. Yeah. Are you mad at me, Mom? No, Evie. I I'm not mad. Wait. What did you call me? I don't want to live in the lab anymore. I want a house. And I want you to be my mom. Okay, Evie. I I'll be your mommy. Just, just come back with me. Right now. Okay? Oh. Hmm. Where are you, Evie? This is great. There she is. What's great? The music. Yeah. <laughs> Evie, wait! They're now going cattywampus. Did you find her? Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <coughs> are you okay? <laughs> you just worry about getting Evelyn back. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Cool. You know you're going the right way when the counter gets smaller in number. Okay, how do the remote mm -hmm. words? How do the remote bombs work? Uh, you place one down, and I think uh, doing the alt fire will blow it up. Wild. <sighs> okay. Just don't stand too close, obviously. <laughs> Alright. Um, no, that's it's too much new thing. That's fair. use it yet, but I want one on deck. Yep. Man. Can't believe I forgot to set my category. It's okay. Mistakes happen. Yeah, I just feel kind of silly about it. Alright. I just worry that something's gonna come up behind me. Mm. Hello and welcome to Sounds I Don't Love. Continuing? Yep.
I mean, on the plus side, you've seen all the enemies that the base game has to offer, except the final boss. Cool. Split second 69 there. <laughs> I. Alright. I know there are sirens going off, but there's no real, like, sense of urgency. The sense of urgency is that they're loud and I don't like them. That is valid and that is fair. I actually remember this VHS tape being longer. That's why I probably thought there was a safe in here. Emergency safety lockdown system has been engaged. Oh, gotta get off. Oh, we're strong. Yeah. Mia's infected. remember which way anything was. You're going the right way. Cool, okay. I love to go the right way. Well, when this guy comes the right way with me, I guess. Again... It prevents you from going the right way. He's locked in the room. Oh, is he? Oh my god. Okay, this is a good well, I. To test the remote bomb. <sighs> okay. Right. I'm very tired. The VHS tape is almost done, right? I believe so. Alright. I hate misremembering because I swear this tape was uh, simultaneously longer and also had save points in it. And I feel bad, I'm sorry. That's okay. Fucking... I only have two though. It makes me nervous. It's okay. You're not really gonna be using them that much until you get to back to the main story. Okay. I mean, he's like right inside the door. You think, unless you despawned. If he despawned, that would be really funny. Yeah, he's just fucking gone. <laughs> he's probably gonna be back there again. Oh, nope, never mind, he's just gone. Not from the other side. Oh, the other other Actually, double doors? Yeah, the ones on the wall. That wall. Can 
then out the crawl space. You can ignore him. I don't remember where the fucking crawl space is. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Uh, top right of that room. Motherfucker. I don't oh, like cool. this. I think that you should die. I think that would be the nice and polite thing to do. There you go. Now, top right of the other double door. I thought you meant the other crawl space. Yeah, no, that one. Okay. <clears throat> this is fine. Now the open door. Yes. And then My... you go up to the third floor. Okay. This is dark. I don't like that. It's okay. Everything is. Oh, like not even in a scary way, just in a like. I get lost very easily way. Oh, yeah, Valor. And through that door. And it's our friend. Our fake husband. How did you get here? Where's Evie? <coughs> she's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Uh, well, it's a good thing we're already dying. <coughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch. She never trusted. Okay. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Ellen, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie, trying to take to, control. To, you have to fight her. Okay, we're gonna have to fight this guy, aren't we? Nope. <laughs> Evelyn, stop! Stop right now! Don't touch me, don't. Is infected. It be that way. Okay. Let me just keep trucking forward. Well, that sucks. Stay away. 
forget that you ever knew me. Have a good life. Beginning of the game shot. Yeah. Here's another mandatory corrosive. Alright, um, why not? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay, I don't like that. Unfortunately, you have to go that way. No, I, I'm j I just meant I thought it was gonna throw a monster at me. Oh, yeah, no, you're perfectly fine right now. You lied to me before. I think we're actually near the end of the tape. I think it's right here. Um, we'll be together forever. normal. And Mia lost her GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently got recovered and put onto a VHS tape. Fucking wild. Gotta love sludge magic. Sludge magic. How do you remember? Yes, Evelyn. I remember. Can we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Evie. Save point. Okay. Um, and that has been m more than two hours. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, that, 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 <laughs> that has been more than two hours. I'm exhausted. Um, I love you guys. I'm gonna go lie down. Bye. Go get good rest. Bye, stream. <laughs>